sitting down in your chair, on your mat, or even standing up, we got 15 of the deepest breaths that I have taken all day. Why 15? Because 15 is a, you know, no, I don't know. 15 is just a really good number for us to meet ourselves at. Because sometimes we get lost in the technology. Sometimes we get lost in the frustration of even getting to our mat. But when I come from one to 15, it helps me find myself in a place of peace, calm, and relaxation. So whether you're in the chair, laying down or sitting down, bring your hands in a comfortable space. Mine are in my lap comfortably. My shoulders are relaxed. This is a bookcase, but it's also a back support in case I need it. Whatever finds you, find it. On the count of three, we're going to start with three deep inhales. And then we want to stretch that out to 15 of the longest, deepest breaths we've taken all day. One, two, three. Let's inhale. Exhale, relax, release through the nose. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's take 12 more of these. Deep inhale, relax in the face, soften the shoulders. Long, slow exhale. Just 11. 10 more chances to calm down. Relax your back, your belly, and your legs. Let the jaw be relaxed. The throat is soft. Hands and arms. Let's take five more deep breaths. Breathe in. And breathe out. Four. Feel the body soften. Three. Two. And one. Big X, inhale in, breathe in. And then open mouth, exhale, just. Blah. Ah, oof. Good, good, good. Whether it's sitting in a chair or sitting on the ground, we're just going to rock side to side, letting the body open up. Letting the head drift along with it like you are riding on a magical boat. Going from the place of stress and strain to a place of peace and calm. Go ahead and ride that boat. Breathing in and out as you rock side and side. Good. And then we're going to add the hands by inhaling, bringing that left hand up into the sky. And over. Oh, that's a good stretch right there. Right hand comes up and over. Mm, getting long and limber. Breathing in nice and slow. Good. Just really connecting with the body, letting it flow. You can be fancy and add a little wrist flick if you want. Good. Slowly going back and forth. All right. Let's slowly inhale, bringing ourselves up to the center. Now, raise your arms wherever you can go. If it's here, okay. If it's here, okay. You see my my hand, my arm over here doesn't straighten out all the way. I had a childhood accident, so it doesn't extend all the way. But still, yoga's for everybody. We only here for another five. Breathe. I'm going to pull my chest up a little bit more. You see my ribs get longer. Four. I'm breathing in. I'm going to relax my shoulders, but still extend the arms. Three. I'm breathing into the belly. Two. We building some heat now. I think I said two, a little bit more heat, breathe in, bring those arms back, palms a little bit closer to each other, breathe in. And then as I exhale, my hands relax and come down, but my smile goes up. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do a shoulder roll here. Get these shoulders up, squeeze. Once again, checking for any discomfort, any strain. 
Good. We're breathing through, taking our time, inhaling and exhaling. This is the perfect pose when you come back to school and you get a little bit stressed out and you feel that tension, just roll it out. Good. One more take. Uh, inhale, bring them up. Let's squeeze these shoulders up. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good. And then exhale, slowly relax, release. I'm going to drop my left ear over to my left shoulder. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh. One more time. Breathe in and breathe out. And I'm going to bring both ears back to the center and drop it over to the other side. Mm. Oh, something just cracked. I didn't even know I had that. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time. Good. Inhale, slowly bring the head back to center. I'm going to bring my hands to the side. Maybe the palms touch the ground. Maybe the fingertips touch the ground. Then I'm going to walk my hands out in front of me. Take your time walking slow. And then I'm going to adjust <clears throat> my costume and slowly walk it forward and away. If you're in a chair, you can still just fold forward. Make sure you don't bump your head. If you're sitting down, your legs don't have to stack. They can just be crisscross applesauce. Now, this is where we don't fight. Gravity does a good job of just naturally letting us pull down to the ground. I want you to give it up to gravity. Bring the chin towards the chest, the head towards the mat. Allow your hips, your lower back, your arms to just relax and release. We only here for another five, four, three, two, one. Slowly, let's walk those hands back nice and slow. Mas despacio, por favor. Sitting up nice and tall. Good. Another shoulder roll here. Oh, roll it out. Nice. I'm ready to do a little bit moving. So I'm going to straighten out these legs. Oh, and I feel the blood flow. All the stuff that was stuck in my legs is slowly starting to move out. I'm going to wiggle my toes, move my ankles around. I usually have my socks off because I have amazing feet. They walk around all day long and they don't complain, but it's cold in here, so I got them on. Inhale, I'm going to bring both my hands up into the sky, reach up, stretch up. Now, you see I have my spine tall. Boom, this, this one, there we go. My spine is tall, my shoulders are aligned. I'm going to pull myself up even more. Use that core, use that strength. I want you to come into this position when you need a little bit of confidence, when you need to feel strong, tall, breathe in. And as you exhale, you're going to take all that length you created and fall forward. <sighs> maybe it reaches here below the knees, above the knees, maybe the ankles, maybe the toes, maybe the feet. It doesn't matter as long as you feel a good stretch, as long as you can continue to breathe. As long as your body is going along with you, bring your chin gently towards the chest. Ooh, you feel that whole stretch from your tailbone to the crown of your crown. You are royalty. Inhale and exhale. Good. Take one more deep breath here. Breathe in. And exhale. Go a little bit deeper, maybe a little deeper in your stretch mm. and then inhale slowly roll up now we move slow because we are always checking in who's coming into our body is it pain is it stress is it tension and somebody comes into our body that we don't want we breathe and kindly excuse them out the door i'm going to bring the soles of my feet <clears throat> together soul to soul was a late 90s r&b band who sung a song i can't remember right now bring the bottom of my feet together this is called butterfly i'm trying to speak spanish y'all so in spanish they call it mariposa i grab the tops of my feet i let my knees fall away good and i flap my butterfly wings butterfly in the sky you should go back on YouTube, LeVar Burton, and watch Reading Rainbow. Great show. I'm going to bring my chest up, relax my shoulders, sitting up nice and tall. Feel that deep stretch here into your belly. Breathe in. And as you exhale, let the knees fall just a little bit more away. Breathe in. And exhale. Breathe in. 
and exhale. Awesome. I'm gonna slowly bring my knees together, the balls of my feet, my feet flat on the ground. I see my chair there. Once again, you always have an option to get in the chair, do some moving around. Even if you're in the chair, you can still kind of just rock back and forth, loosen that spine, the back, the espalda. And if you're on the ground, you can roll ooh, up and down, back and forth. Yes, I feel like a kid again, mm, rolling back and forth, left and right. Keep your head straight. Just look forward, look up, make sure the ceiling is still good. Let's take three more times, rolling up and back. If a smile happens to come on your face, that's all yoga. Two more, one, and then drop back. And then two, this is another pose you can do in the middle of class if you're feeling stressed out. They may ask you to leave, but that's all right. We're gonna come onto our hands and our knees. Please don't do that in class. <laughs> I'll get in trouble. Hands and knees. I'm gonna spread my fingers wide. I get a good uh, firm Spider-Man. Are they on Spider-Man like number 47 now? Peter Parker and everybody. All right, I'm gonna bring my knees hip distance apart. And then I'm just going to move my hips left and right and then move my shoulders left and right. Oh, this is a good shoulder stretch. This is a good hip stretch, a good spine stretch. Make sure you have cushioning on your knees so you don't bang those things up. You're going to need them. And then just move left and right. You can add the head if you like. See, I'll bring my ear to my shoulder. This is stretching through the spine. Once again, this is a great way to find out what is your body telling you. You do this in the middle or get up in the early in the morning, you do this, your body will be like, hey, that's good or that's not good. So we're testing it out here. Good, now we're gonna go into our ultimate pose. This is the pose of all poses for me. I need to do one of these at least a day to be able to stretch my entire body, feel strong, stretchy, and super. That was the only S I can think of. Tuck my toes in. I'm going to gently press into my palms and then I'm going to tuck my toes into the ground and bring my knees off the ground, bring my hips up to the sky, legs start to straighten out into a, you got it, downward facing dog. I'm gonna look at my toes to relax my neck. I'm gonna bring my arms closer together, bring the elbows, squeeze my arms around my head, straighten out the arms. Good, my heels are heavy. If you want to, you can start to bend the knees back and forth, left and right, moving the hips around, wagging the tail on that dog of yours. Good, that Australian dog that you got there. <laughs> the dingo dog, California dingo, that's what it is, the Colorado dingo, moving back and forth, good. And then I'm gonna drop down to my knees because that is a lot of dog in one down day. And then we're gonna take another breath here, breathe in and breathe out. We're going back up to the down dog. Breathe in and breathe out. If you need to check your wrist and roll those out, if you need to move your hips and roll those out, if you need to adjust your costume once again, good. I'm going to tuck my toes. I'm going to raise my hips up and back into a downward facing dog. Now we're going to hold this downward dog. My heels are driving down. They don't have to reach the ground, but my hips come up. My chest comes back towards my toes. My arms are strong and I'm breathing here in and out of the nose. Feel the belly up for five, four, you got it. Relax the ribs, three, press into the tops of the hands, two, shake your head out. And one, here we go. We're gonna walk the feet up to the hands. Walk the feet up to the hands, nice and slowly. Hang out in this forward fold. Just close your eyes and trust your body. I'll let you know when we can roll on up nice and slow. From here, move the hips left and right. Breathing in, breathing out. Once again, always checking with your body. Is everything okay? Good. If it's too much for you, you can always come back down to your knees. Take a deep inhale here. As we exhale, we're all gonna bend our knees and drop down to the ground, drop the knees down. And we're gonna come into a child's pose. Pastora de Nina. I'm going to bend my knees, bring my hips back towards my heels. Good. My hands are out in front of me. And this is the time that we relax and chill. I'm going to let my elbows come down, my head come down. Good. Let the rain come down. 
drop my head down. Now, it's not about how low you can go. It's about how much you can let go. Get as heavy as possible. Allow your body to melt into the mat and your stress to do the same thing. Let it just run down the drain. That's what a mat really is. It's a drain. You can just let it all drain out. For the next five, breathing deep into your belly. I want you to find the belly as you breathe in. And then exhale, find the belly if you breathe out. Let's take four more of those. You got it. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. On the next inhale, I'm going to slowly bring my hands back towards my knees. Good. Coming up into our little hero's pose. There we go. Pull the chest up. Now, if this is intense, you can add the arms and kind of lean forward. We're just going to hold it here for a breath. Inhale and exhale. On the next inhale, I'm going to come up to the top of my knees, bring my hips off my heels. Ooh, standing up. Now we're going to go the opposite direction. As long as you can see me good and I can see you even better, good. We are going to move into our camel pose. All right. Don't know how to say camel in Spanish, but I'm going to bring both hands to my lower back oh, just to keep myself protected. Camel pose is going to open us up the front of our body. So if you have any chest issues or if you have any spinal issues in the back or anything like that, be careful. We're all going to be careful, but it's also going to open you up for more energy. When we do back bends, it sends energy to us. So when you are about to do your homework right after that nap and you're a little groggy, a little blah, you do one of these and you wake up and you will get answers one through 10 correct. Bring both arms to your lower back. I'm going to bring my chin to the sky. Bring my hips forward just a little bit, strong in the knees, pressing down on the feet, chin towards the sky, relax the shoulders, get it away from your ears, bring the head up to the sky. I didn't notice how many cobwebs I have in my ceiling. Inhale here for five, hands on the hips, maybe the hips come forward a little bit more, maybe the back comes a little bit further down, four, three, and two. I need to change the battery in my smoke detector. And bring my chin slowly down to my chest. Good. Coming back, sit up nice and tall. I'm going to bring my hands down to the ground. Once again, we are going into a downward facing dog. Flexing the spine in the opposite direction. Bring the hips up and back. Oh, that feels amazing. Get your down dog on. Move the hips left and right. Stretch the legs. We're going to be here for the next 10, 9, Eight, shake the head, get loose. Seven, move the arms, move everything you feel that you need to. Six, move the face, the eyebrows. Four, breathe deep into the belly. Three, two, and one. Let's drop those knees down. Good. Ugh. Then we're gonna come down once again into the ground. El piso. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> sitting up nice and tall into our seated easy pose feeling good that was amazing all right we're gonna do a shoulder roll here inhale bring those shoulders up squeeze at the top exhale back and down look over to your right inhale exhale look over to your left inhale Inhale up to the sky and exhale. Drop the chin to the chest and inhale. Good. Before we move.